Hello everyone, I am so excited to bring you a very special collaboration today with Clear Jelly Stamper. We've collaborated and I've come out with my own collaboration plate with them and I'm so excited. This is called Funky Swirls and it's all about those super trendy swirls you're seeing right now in the nail art world. They are taking the nail world by storm, these swirls. Everybody wants swirls in all sorts of different colors so this plate is going to help you achieve those swirls super easily with stamping and this plate is now available today so make sure you grab yours i'm so excited that they had asked to collaborate with me and i think a lot of you are going to love this stamping plate don't forget, you can also use my code Katie Dutra, and that will save you 10% off any of the products that you see in this video. So this is the design I am going to share with you today and show you exactly how I created it using the Let's Collab stamping plate, as well as some of the Coco and Claire gel polishes. <laughs> So the stamping plate is called Let's Collab number 82 and it's called Funky Swirls and you can see it has all of these different shapes and sizes of swirls available for you guys to use and play with and create lots of funky designs as well as some other little images that you can kind of layer over the swirls you can use by themselves whatever you want to create we got some hearts we got some stars we got a little bit of a leopard print going on because I love leopard print we've got some lightning bolts little twinkly four point stars you can layer all them together and on the back here it shows you exactly how you can kind of layer some of these ones together to create these really fun multicolored swirls here is the other side of it and so this is the side that you would actually use to do the stamping with so you can see how you've got all these different little images that you can put together so for this particular set that I'm going to show you how to create, I'm using the Coco and Claire gel polishes. These are also created by the same people who make Clear Jelly Stamper. So you can use my code for gel polishes as well. And these gel polishes are available for anyone to purchase. So you do not need a license to purchase these. You can use these at home. So that's awesome if that is what you're looking for. And they have lots of beautiful colors. Plus, I am absolutely in love with their packaging. You can see it's this really beautiful pink, but it has a holographic kind of opaly shine to them. They're absolutely stunning. You can see the color super easily on the top of the bottle, and the color and the name is labeled on the bottom as well. And I love the rose gold handle, and it almost looks like little water droplets on the handle. It's absolutely gorgeous love the packaging 10 out of 10 and i love the box that they come in super well organized and gorgeous so these are the nails that i'm going to show you guys how i made and i'm going to use these four colors right here that came in my little package so this is the first color that i used in the collection it's a really gorgeous like dark red maroon color uh, it's called chocolate dipped raspberry and it's number 179 then we have this light tan called Zara, and it's number 381. We have this really dark navy gray color called Set Sail, number 303. And this champagne glittery color called Champagne Kisses, number 33. For this set, you're also going to need a stamper, of course. I'm using the Rectangle Stamper from Clear Jelly Stamper. I actually absolutely love this one because it's so easy to see exactly where you're stamping. And it does come with a stamping head on the top and then an extra one down at the bottom. And as you can see, I'll show you guys, it's so easy like to see exactly where you're stamping. It's like the perfect size and I kind of like the rectangle shape. You're also going to need some stamping polishes. I chose some that kind of match the gel polish colors. This is number 40, and this one is number 39. And then we have this really pretty champagne one, number 51. 
And then of course you're going to need the new Let's Collab Funky Swirls plate. First, I always lay a paper towel down when I'm doing stamping because stamping can get messy. I'm starting off with the first nail with two coats of that kind of raspberry red color. This is also the first time I am trying out the Coco and Claire gel polishes, and I have to say I'm really impressed with the pigment and the consistency. They're super, super creamy, and they have very good pigment. So if you are an at-home user, uh, or if you are a nail tech like me, uh, I do recommend these. They are very nice to work with. So I always do my stamping on top of a matte nail. So I did a matte top coat first, and then I am going to go in with this kind of swirl design at the top here with that dark navy blue. So I applied my polish, and then I'm gonna use my clear jelly stamper scraper and scrape off the excess at an angle and very gently, not too rough or anything like that. Then using my rectangle stamper, picking up the image, you can see I got a little bit of excess on there, so I just took it off with the scraper, which I will show you guys that in a little bit, and then I'm just kind of placing it down where I think it looks nice. So that is a really fun swirl right there, and then I also love their sticky pads to clean off the excess polish from my stamper. Now I'm going in with some four point stars and I'm using the champagne color and I'm just gonna kind of layer those over top of the swirl and put them randomly on the nail. So that is the first design, super simple and easy, but it's so fun and you could do it in many, many different colors. I think these colors are really nice for fall though, which is why I decided to show you guys these ones. Now you may notice some of the swirl patterns are a little bit smaller. So if you have longer nails or bigger nails, I would recommend turning them at an angle or turning them on their side so that it can go from one side of the nail to the other side. So you can kind of twist these swirls to fit whatever size nail that you're working on. Now I'm going in with two coats on the other nail of that creamy color. And again, starting with a matte top coat, that's what I prefer to work on when I'm stamping over top of gel polish. And I'm going to be using the three stamping colors and stamping this really fun swirl design and layering the colors together. Now this particular swirl actually took me a couple times to kind of line up. So if you're struggling with that, it's totally okay. And you can easily wipe off the design with some acetone and start again. So it's super easy. Once you get the hang of it though, it works great. And also these swirls are meant to be abstract. They're meant to be funky and fun. So if they don't line up perfectly, it's okay because it still looks super cute. You just gotta have fun with it and it's more of a funky and fun design. Now I wanted to add a little bit more to this nail. So I'm taking this very bottom section from this pattern and I'm gonna use that to stamp a another smaller swirl into the corner of the nail. So like I said, you do not have to use this plate like exactly how it's laid out. You can take little bits and pieces from all over the plate and layer them together to create your own swirl pattern. Now for this last nail, I'm taking some of these longer swirls down here at the bottom and I'm just using some of my different colored stamping polishes and kind of lining them up, placing them together to create an overall kind of swirl pattern on the entire nail.
and here is the end result I kind of played with some different nails some different patterns different combinations this one I paired with some crystals and a full glitter nail using that champagne glitter gel polish and I think it looks gorgeous I think these colors are beautiful for fall and they almost look kind of like regal and like very fancy I really like these colors together so make sure and grab your new plate to create these really funky and fun swirls you can also totally switch up the colors and you'll see in this next design I did more of a bright summery fun pattern with some different colors so that is fun I absolutely love the lightning bolt as well and incorporating kind of the spots and the stars so you can totally switch this plate up to whatever season that you're in or whatever kind of colors that you want to work with and I did one more over top of a tortoise shell design with some lime green. thought it was super fun and just kind of out there and unique. So again, you can use this plate, layer it. You can use multiple different colors. You can use one color. You, there's literally so much that you can do with this stamping plate. I am so excited and happy that Clear Jelly Stamper again asked me to collaborate with them. And I hope that you guys enjoy this plate as well. If you use the plate, make sure to tag me on social media so that I can see your designs because I'd love to see what you create with it. Now I'm also giving you guys the opportunity to win one of these stamping plates. I'm so excited that I could give you guys one. So if you would like to win a funky swirls stamping plate, make sure to subscribe to my channel, like this video and comment telling me what your favorite fall colors are for your nails. So make sure to do all those things to be entered into the giveaway and I will give one of you guys a brand new funky swirls stamping plate. So I appreciate you all so much. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me on social media and I will see you guys in the next video.